you actually you you went to high school in Palo Alto, right? So, yeah. So some of the some of the stories, I mean, I guess are from personal experience or from people you knew or. Yeah, I mean, um, I set my book in Palo Alto in the mid '90s, which is when I was, uh, yeah, a teenager there, and um, you know, like most writers, I I drew from. A lot of it from you know experiences I had, experiences other people had, and then made some up. And then you know the way that in my head I could really just get it down. Like as a writer, this is I was having a hard time you know early on because I would write stories that were kind of based on experiences I had, but you know I was this young sensitive dude or whatever, and so I would. I was. I realized I was writing to make readers uh, like me, you know, and I and I'd make you know want them to just understand my pain or whatever. And I realized, I, and I hated it. I hated that kind of material. And I realized, oh no! In when I write, it's like this is where you don't need to prove what a good person you are. This is where you get all everything out, and all the the darkness can come out. And um, and so I used real experiences, but you know, you recontextualize it, you repurpose those experiences to tell uh, narratives with you know arcs that weren't necessarily in place in real life. And so, yeah, if you wanted to play the game of going back and meeting people that I knew back then and saying, "Hey, did that really happen?" You could say yes, or like when the book came out, you know, their parents of old friends of mine that are <laughs> like ask their children like oh my god did that happen and they'd be like yeah but not exactly like that or whatever so and it's fiction so it's okay um and in, and i really didn't want my mother to read it uh she's a she's an author and strangely like i don't know we're on like Similar, I guess it makes sense. We're on similar wavelengths, but like, I wrote this book, book, and she had been writing. You know, she was a children's book author, and then she had come out with her first young adult novel, which took place in high school. And I was like, oh, we both have our high school novels, and then like, she wrote this other book about like this artist, and it was like, I kind of did that. And it was like, oh, mom, come on. But anyway, like. Um, <laughs> I didn't want her to read it be because she was there when I was a teenager. And so she knew these experiences from when they really happened. And so I felt like, oh God, if she reads them in this book, she's gonna think this is how I actually felt about those real things. And she'll be reading it as if it's like nonfiction. And um, finally I said, all right, you can read it, but we will never discuss it. Said, okay. <laughs> So we've never talked about it, but um, but yeah, a lot of it was based on real experiences, and and then, but also, you know, I understand that the stories are pretty dark, and it's like this is it was never intended to be a you know to capture like the 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 variety of experiences that people have in high school like I'm focusing on a particular kind of you know kid and teenager and and I think the intention behind that was to not represent everyone's high school school high school experience but more kind of how it feels to be in high school how it can feel uh, in a similar way to like I guess one of my models was Gus Van Sant's movie Paranoid Park where, you know, this kid accidentally kills somebody and doesn't tell anybody. And for me, that was sort of like a, like objective correlative for what it can feel like to be in high school. Like sometimes it just feels like you've got the weight of the world on you. Uh, and we all hopefully have not killed anybody, you know, and, but... Most of us. Sometimes it feels like that, you know, like, oh. Holding a secret in you. Yeah, and so by piling on dark, dark story on top of dark story, I kind of wanted to give a feeling of, of how that can 
how it can be, you know, when you're that age. 